Love this dance. It's cool. Hey everybody, uh, what's going on? My name is Elliot and uh, I do video, line dance video, in Kahoot 410 line dance videos, uh, and I post them on the internet. Uh, this is called Is It Friday Yet? And it's the biggest and count you will ever, or and dance, and dance, uh, that you will ever see. Uh, this dance is just super hyper and it's really fast and it's, it's super crazy. That's, maybe that's why I like it. I like it because it's super intricate like that. Uh, and but I mean, the funny thing about this dance is that it's so hyper. But once you like know it, you can definitely like slow it down and like groove to it, uh, as you might have seen in my in my demo reel, maybe uh, in my dance group. Uh, anyway, uh, it's an incredibly hard dance. So uh, all of you advanced people that have been watching all my videos, uh, hopefully you'll be able to follow me on this. Uh, and anybody who's a beginner, there are a lot of dance videos that you should probably watch before this one. I would not recommend this dance. Also, because it's not really a dance that they do uh, in the popular time of incoots, like the 8 o'clock to 12 o'clock time. Uh, but I mean, like, whenever I get there super early, like between 5 and 7, 5 and 8, uh, they always do it. So, it's super fun. Anyway, uh, here we go. Uh, so, you're going to start off with your right, and it's 1, 2, uh, and then you're going to do a rocking cross three and four, and that concludes the easiest part of this dance. Uh, not even joking, uh, because the next part is five and six and seven and eight, uh, and it continues for the rest of the dance. So, uh, for anybody that is watching this and where that looked difficult, do not do not watch the rest of this video, uh, <laughs> because it just gets incrementally incrementally more difficult. Uh, but here we go. Uh, I'm gonna try to. We're gonna get through this together. Here we go. Uh, so it's one, two, rock and cross, three and four. Uh, and what you're gonna do right here is you're just kind of interweaving your legs here, and it's gonna be out five behind on and out six, cross in front on seven. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, six, uh, cross in front on and uh, rock. Seven, uh, land on end, and then you're gonna cross in front on eight. Uh, so what that whole thing looks like uh, with counts is one, two, three, and four, five, and six, and seven, and eight. Uh, I'll try to do that slower because that was super fast. Uh, one, two, three, and four, five, and six, and seven, and eight. So if you notice, uh, my feet are just kind of like, like you cross in front, and then you go out, and then you cross behind, and then you go out, and you cross in front, and then you go, and then you go out, and like you're interweaving your legs, and that makes it a little bit, this part, a little bit more easy. Uh, but I mean, at full speed, it's super fast, and what I usually end up doing, uh, not that I skip moves, but I usually end up basically jumping right there, and what it looks like is one, two, three, and four, five, and six, and seven, and eight. Uh, and that's literally how fast you need to be with this dance because that's how fast it is. Uh, but that's 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 what that is. So that's eight. Uh, I'm gonna move on. Uh, you might need to like practice that a bunch of times because that part was probably like one of the hardest parts in this dance. Uh, and uh, if you are past that. Uh, moving on, uh, what you're gonna you're, you land 
you're on eight, and what you're going to do is a Monterey turn. Uh, on uh, and what a Monterey turn is is uh, you're going to step out because uh, your your right leg is uh, locked right here. You're going to step out on your right, pivot around, uh, step out on your left, and step together. And those are all and counts as well. So it's going to be one and two and. Uh, and then you're just kind of going to uh, do heel jack, and you're just it's just going to be heel up and then heel up. Uh, so you're here on eight. So it's one and two and three and four and. Uh, and that's really fast too. Uh, so I'll do I'll face it this way uh, so that you can see what it looks like from the back view. Uh, so it's you're stuck here on eight, and it's going to be one and two and three and four and. Uh, and to finish off this eight, it's two uh, triple steps forward. Uh, five and six, seven and eight. Uh, I'll do that whole thing again, facing this way, uh, because I think it'll be easier because all the hard part is over there. Anyway, here we go. One and two and three and four and five and six, seven and eight. You can just count how many times I say and in this video. It's going to be a lot. <laughs> uh, this, video, this dance was actually known as the step touch back brush dance to me for the longest time uh, because that was like this next move. And uh, it was like most, it sounded like the most complicated thing. But it's, it, it is what it is. Here we go. Uh, so seven and eight. And it's going to be step uh, with your right, touch uh, with your left, uh, step back on your, uh, and then it's back on your left, and then you're going to just brush the ground uh, with your heel on your right. Uh, and then with your right, uh, because your right is now free, uh, you're going to do a coaster step. So what that whole thing looks like is step, touch, back, brush, coaster step. Uh, and that's what that is. Uh, and that's all and counts as well. Uh, so you just finished off on seven and eight. So it's one and two and three and four. Uh, you're going to do a triple step because now your left leg is free forward. Uh, so five and six. And for all those people who watch my Redneck Angel video, uh, this is that and turn that I did in there. And you're going to step forward on seven, pivot around, uh, step down on your left on and, and then step forward on eight. And it's, that's the eight. That's in the next eight. Uh, so I'm going to go from here, uh, from the Monterey. So it's going to be one and two and three and four and five and six, seven and eight. Uh, one and two and three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Uh, we're almost done here. Uh, this is actually pretty much more or less the end of the dance here. Uh, what you're going to do uh, is you're going to turn and you're going to make a three-quarter. You're going to make a three-quarter turn uh, going over your right shoulder, uh, and you're going to be facing the left. So wherever you are, uh, just know that you're going to make a three-step turn, and you're going to you're going to be to the left of where you are right here. And it's one and two. Uh, so see how I'm right here at the, on the left here. Uh, I started right here after my end turn, uh, and you're just going to step forward on one, uh, out on two, and then together on three, or uh, one and two, I'm sorry, eight, one and two, uh, and it's a three step turn, uh, and you're just going to do a three quarter turn that ends on your left, uh, and so you should be facing here, uh, so it's one and two. Uh, you're going to do a kick ball change on three and four, uh, and it's just kick, step, step, three and four, uh, and then you're going to do a coaster step uh, to the left, yeah, coaster step to the left on five and six, coaster step to your right, seven and eight, and you're done with the dance. Uh, so I'll do that whole thing again, uh, starting with the uh, moderate turn, because uh, that's probably where this whole... Uh, a crux of this dance is, here we go, uh, one and two and three and four and five and six, seven and eight, one and two and three and four, five and six, 
seven and eight. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. And you're done. Uh, I'm gonna try to go through this whole thing again, uh, facing this way and then facing that way, and then we'll be good. Uh, hopefully, here we go. One, two, three and four, five and six and seven and eight. One and two and three and four and five and six, seven and eight. One and two and three and four, five and six, seven and eight. One and two, three, oh, sorry. Three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Uh, so facing this way, it's gonna be one, two, three and four, Five and six and seven and eight. One and two and three and four. Five and six, seven and eight. One and two, three and four. Five and six, seven and eight. One and two and four. Five and six, seven and eight. Did I just do the same exact dance twice? I think I just did the same exact dance twice. And if I did, I'm going to do it again this way. Here we go. Uh, one, two, three, and four, five, and six, and seven, and eight. One, and two, and three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight. One, and two, and three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight. One, and two, Three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Uh, and that is it Friday yet. Uh, so I hope, uh, I hope I was clear enough in that whole entire explanation. It's a really difficult dance, uh, but once you do learn it, uh, you have the ability, it's a really fun dance, and you have the ability to like slow it down and like mess with the music and, and beat manipulate. Uh, but anyway, uh, if you guys have any questions, Feel free to ask anybody at Inkahoots. If you ever see me, uh, please ask me, uh, because I know that sometimes it's really difficult to, to teach stuff and just auto-learn it, uh, you know, even when somebody's not there. So if you do, uh, see me at Inkahoots, just say hi. Uh, I'll see you guys next video.